Some good news for the team USA gymnastics team Jade Carey won gold in the floor exercise final. This was a redemption medal after she failed to make the podium during the vault competition, which was supposed to be her best event. Teammate Simone Biles cheered her on from the sidelines, but after bowing out of all of her previous events, she announced that she will compete in the balance beam final tomorrow. I am so excited for her return. Yeah. This could be her redemption story, and I and I say redemption carefully because I know that she, in my opinion, made the right call given that her mental health was not strong enough. She could have severely injured herself, so hopefully she feels strong enough to win the gold. I'm excited for her. What do you think? I wonder what her teammates feel like, to be quite honest with you, because every time we do a story on Simone Biles or I watch one on television, it's Amy, whatever, won gold, and Simone Biles tweeted this out, and then we have the conversation about Simone Biles. It's like, man, I won gold here. Talk about me a little bit more. Put mm -hmm. me on the platform, and we always back it up with Simone Biles did this, whether it was right or wrong. We should focus on the athletes that are winning gold. The right? problem is that this, it's the story, right? The Olympics is always about the story, and it's the same in sports. It's Michael, not about medals? Not really. It's about oh. the stories, to be honest. It's like Michael Jordan, you can talk about the other players, but we spend a majority of the time talking about the best He won one. championships. And he, oh, Simone Biles won a ton of championships. What I'm saying to you is, I I think that one of her uh, teammates get, dedicated her silver, silver medal to Simone, and it shows a lot that she went right over as a leader and was like, we can do this together. She stayed to give out chalk. She stayed in the audience. She feels her body is ready. She knows up from down. No one knows that better than Simone. She's the story. She's going to get the people's well, eyeballs. And, and just, you know, Jeff, that was such an interesting thought because, you know, these Olympians that have worked hard, just like everybody else, deserve their time in the, in, in the spotlight. But I do think there's always an Olympics where you first hear somebody's name. There was an Olympics where we first have heard about Simone and then you hear about her in different competitions you see little snippets you're like oh that's the that's a young lady from the Olympics and then the next one or the Katie people Ledecky know or, their name yes. going into it I think that's the difference between like being a famous Olympian and Olympian is if you know them before they win and that's like that's why we were talking about Ledecky not doing great and then coming through is like she had already had her time in this uh, time to shine when she broke the record so I think your point is well taken. These kids uh, deserve. They, I call them kids. They, they are. Deserve, yeah, they deserve their time to shine. But I think the next Olympics will be the one that you'll be looking for. All right. Good conversation. I was like, just I didn't. I just yeah. Well, at least you didn't wave off camera like Tori. Shut up. <laughs> okay, that's that like was what, on. What somebody on Young Reporter Day that's in the seventh grade doing? You sit right here. <laughs> no, everybody saw you. <laughs>